Whenever you work out, you should always warm up. Warming up helps prevent injury. Now your warm up should consist of two parts. The first part is a cardio warm up. You want to do five to 10 minutes of cardio to get your blood flowing, to increase your body temperature. When it comes to weight training, you want to start with two to three lighter sets to prepare your body for the heavier weight you're going to lift. If you jump directly into lifting heavy, you could tear a muscle and hurt yourself seriously. So always warm up. Hey, good to see you back. Yesterday we went over how to eat healthy foods in restaurants. So hopefully next time you're in a restaurant, you'll feel more confident about ordering the healthy foods you need for your diet. Today's your second upper body workout of the week. Again, this is your deload week. We're just doing one set of 15 to 20 reps to promote recovery. This week is all about recovery. Now let's head over to the gym, do your five to 10 minutes of warm up cardio. We'll hit the iron, I'll see you there. It's time for your Thursday upper body workout. Remember, this is your deload week. Last week, you did six sets of three reps. That was a very hard week, so this week, we're taking the intensity down a notch and only doing one set of 15 to 20 reps. With that said, go do your pre-workout cardio of five to 10 minutes and then meet me in the weight room. First exercise for today's deload week is the incline barbell press. Remember, we're just doing one set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. These sets should not be taken to failure. Once your warm-up is complete, go into your one set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. Since you're only doing one set, Focus on using perfect form. You've already done these exercises for five weeks. Your form should be close to perfect by now. Even though this set of 15 to 20 reps is light, you may find it's challenging to complete high reps. After you complete your set of 15 to 20 reps, take the weights off, put them back on the weight rack, and record your performance in your workout journal. The second exercise for today's workout is the pull-up. Now we're doing one set of 15 to 20 reps. You may not be able to complete 15 to 20 reps in one set. If this is the case, then complete as many reps as you can by yourself, and then have your training partner assist you in completing the rest of the reps. Once you complete your set, record how many reps you completed by yourself, and also know how many reps you were assisted with. The third exercise for today's workout is the dumbbell side lateral. Remember, we're just doing one set of 15 to 20 reps. You still want to start off with two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps though. After you complete your warm-up set, go straight into your 15 to 20 rep set to failure. Since we're training light, you can really focus on using perfect form. Using perfect form allows you to target the shoulders. Once you complete your one set of 15 to 20 reps, return your dumbbells to the dumbbell rack and then record your performance in your workout journal. The fourth exercise of today's workout is the dumbbell shrug. Perform your two warm up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you complete your warm up sets, move into your heavy set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. Since we're doing 15 to 20 reps, you should use this week to really focus on your form. Since we're doing higher reps, you need to use less weight than usual. Just because you're using less weight doesn't mean you shouldn't focus 100% on each set. The fifth exercise in today's workout is the skull crusher for the triceps. Start off with your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps. After you complete your warm-up sets, you can move into your one heavy set of 15 to 20 reps to failure. As I've been stressing, this is the week to really dial in your form. By now, you've done these exercises enough to know how to do them correctly. Once you've done your set of 15 to 20 reps, return the barbell to the barbell rack and record your numbers in your workout journal. The final exercise for this week's deload workout is the dumbbell curl for the biceps. Perform your two warm-up sets of 10 to 15 reps and then move on to your heavy set of 15 to 20 reps. Last week, we did six sets of three reps on your dumbbell curls, but this week, we're only doing one set of 15 to 20 reps. There should be absolutely no swing or no momentum during this set. You should use only your biceps to curl the dumbbells. Once you complete your set, return the dumbbells to the dumbbell rack and record your performance in your workout journal. That brings us to the end of today's Thursday deload workout. You still need to do your post-workout stretching. Once you complete your stretching, meet me back in my office so we can review today's workout and talk about tomorrow. I'll see you back in my office. Good workout today and accomplish what we needed to accomplish and that was to promote recovery. Again, this is your deal of week. It's going to be easy, not super stressful, but it serves a purpose. Now I want you to go home, get all of your meals in, rest up, and you're going to come back tomorrow for your final workout of the week. See you tomorrow.